Hello students, coming back in class with the topic of drug discovery and chemical evaluation of drug. If we recall the previous class, in the previous class I have discussed about the layout of drug discovery, drug development process and various phases of clinical trial. Like for this class, we are going to study about the various other topics that are including within the drug discovery and chemical evaluation. So let's look forward in the next slides. In this slide, we included mainly the preclinical study, IND application, phase 0 and phase 1. So these are the topics that are included in this presentation. Once again, back up our knowledge with the definition of clinical trial. Clinical trial is any investigation in human subjects which are intended to discover or verify the chemical, pharmacological and other pharmacodynamic effect of an investigational product and to identify any diverse action or adverse action to any investigational product and to study the ADME that is the absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion of an investigational product with the object of asserting its safety and efficacy. So this is just a recap of the previous class. Now let's look into the diagram. You can see a diagram that is being provided below this one. is the preclinical phase, phase 1, phase 2, phase 3, phase FDA review and phase 4. Like here, it has shown the drug approved for testing in humans and the drug submitted by the FDA followed by the drug approved. Next is a preclinical study. Let's, let's look forward for the prerequisites of the preclinical study. In the preclinical study, one can initiate a testing in human beings, which is extensive preclinical or laboratory research is required. It also involves several years of experiments, both in animal and human cells. If this stage of testing is successful, the sponsor then provides the data to the FDA and requesting the approval to begin the testing in humans and this is known as the investigational new drug application. If it is being approved by FDA then this testing in human begins and this is through formally written and approved protocol. So here you can see that the extensive procedures of clinical laboratory and research is practiced and it takes about years to finalize then if it is approved, then it is being taken to the INDA, that is the INDA application and further it proceeds with several written protocols and the approved protocols. Next, what are the evaluation phase of the preclinical study using animal model? So the major areas, let's look forward, are the pharmacodynamic studies in in vivo in animals in vitro preparation that absorption, distribution, elimination studies, acute and subacute studies, chronic toxicity studies, toxicity profile, and finally the therapeutic index and the therapeutic efficacy. If we look forward to the diagram that is being given, see you can see the target of search that is a target site, then the screening or the hits, then the structural biology or the molecular modeling, then the medical, medicinal chemistry, then the pharmacology involved being, then the pharmacokinetics and metabolism, then followed by your optimization that is the lead compound obtaining, followed by a drug candidate and further it is going forward towards the clinical trials. So this way the drug is being prepared and the prerequisites are being discussed of the preclinical study. Next is investigational new drug application investigational new drug application at first let's see what are the things we need to fill up for this application form once the preclinical studies are being indicated that the safety and efficacy of a drug is approved an INT application has to be filled with the regulatory authorities further what we have to say for obtaining the regulatory approval 
for the various three phases that is phase one, phase two, phase three and phase four that is the FD approval of the clinical evaluation. Now let's give a glimpse to the various contents of IND application. It involves the preclinical data that is data about all the animal models, animal studies, the information on composition and source of drug. Next is the chemical and manufacturing information that is its structural activity relationship with structural orientations, followed by the proposed clinical plans and protocols and the Finally, the most important is the ethical committee clearance or the approval of using the volunteers. This is very, very important. So these are the five major contents the IND application form comprise of. Coming to the phase zero clinical trial, the phase zero clinical trial is also known as the micro dosing phase. So here the primary goal is that it will provide us with the pharmacodynamic and pharmacokinetic, particularly the oral bioavailability and the half-life of the drug. The study of a new drug in microdoses to derive the pharmacokinetic information in human before undertaking the phase one studies is known as the phase zero. What is microdose that is less than one hundredth of the dose of a test substance calculated to produce the pharmacological effect and the main objective of phase zero or microdosing phase is to obtain the preliminary pharmacokinetic data. Next is the microdosing, the advantages and limitations. The main advantages, it provides less adverse effects, shorter duration, less number of volunteers involved, lesser cost and even reduced time of drug development. Next is the limitations. The limitations is mainly it is mostly pharmacokinetic oriented parameters are formed. It is not efficacy and safety oriented foundations are done. Next is in here you can see that the agents having different pharmacokinetic characteristics are between the are between those dose and full dose are not evaluated by the phase zero trials. And next is the limited use for agents having non-linear PKs, that is non-linear pharmacokinetic activities, and laboratory parameters are very limited and expensive. So these are the limitations of the phase zero clinical trial. Next is a different kind of one trial, which includes a single ascending dose, multiple ascending dose, and the foot effects. This will be elaborated in the next slides. Here, let's look towards the characteristics. The primary goal we have to always keep in focus, that is to assess the safety, pharmacovigilance, tolerability, pharmacokinetics, and pharmacodynamics of a drug. It also involves in the inpatient clinic where the subject is observed by a full-time staff and it is usually involving the healthy volunteers and the tested range of doses are usually be a fraction of the dose that caused harm in animal testing and volunteers are paid in inconvenience fee for their time spent in the volunteer center. Payment is dependent on the length of the participation. So these are the main things of phase one. So phase one involves the safety of the drug that is a pharmacovigilance tolerability pharmacokinetic properties here let's go into the all the points of the phase one clinical trial and those are the key points that is the first stage is testing human subjects designed to assess the safety tolerability pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamics of the drug then 20 to 25 healthy volunteers are involved in a duration of 6 to 12 months and patients with anti-cancer drugs and AIDS therapy main aim is to determine the maximum to MTD that is the maximum tolerated dose of a new treatment. It is involved in two types of phases of people that I said in the previous diagram that is a single ascending dose studies and multiple ascending dose studies. If you see once single ascending dose, multiple ascending dose by the subjects it includes the healthy human volunteers and patient volunteers if they are susceptible to cytotoxic drugs aids therapy and patients in advanced stage of disease and last is the limitations that is a trial restricted to homogeneous subjects and the performance extrapolated to heterogeneous marketplace so these are the limitations of phase one trial 
you students for listening to the video hope this video will help you in solving your assignments and for any doubts and queries please feel free to ask and even you can comment below this video uploaded thank you for listening once again